also known as the River Horse. This terrifying beast is responsible for killing more humans every year than any other beast in Africa. It's the hippo, and here's what happens when hippos attack. The hippopotamus, or hippo for short, is a large semi-aquatic mammal that inhabits lakes, rivers, swamps, and the land surrounding them. Its name is derived from the Greek word hippos, which means horse, and potamus, meaning river. It lives in large groups of up to 30 animals where territorial bulls watch over the females and young. The hippo has unique physical features which make it one of the most dangerous animals in its environment. The eyes, ears, and nostrils of hippos are placed on the roof of the skull, enabling them to remain above water while the entire body is submerged. The hinge of its jaw is placed back far enough that it allows the hippo's massive mouth to open almost 180 degrees and deliver a very powerful bite. The males continue to grow in size throughout their life. The hippo's large, barrel-shaped body is perfectly adapted for carrying its heavy weight due to special skeletal structures. Its shape also enables the beast to easily reach the bottom of the river, making deadly both on land and in water. Number 5. Paul Templer Paul Templer was a river guide who had an almost fatal encounter with a 4,000-pound hippo while leading a group of tourist kayakers along the Zambezi River in Zimbabwe. The attack happened approximately half a mile from Victoria Falls, one of the largest waterfalls in the world. Prior to the incident, Templer didn't recall feeling danger approaching. In his recollection of the events, his legs were surrounded by water but that the upper part of his body was dry when he got trapped in what he described as something slimy. Templer's arms were stuck and he could feel an immense pressure against his chest. After freeing one of his arms and moving it around in the water, he felt the hippo's snout. Templar was then faced with the terrifying truth. He was trapped from the waist down in the beast's massive mouth. The bull simply went berserk, throwing me into the air and catching me again, shaking me like a dog with a dial, he said. His account of the attack continued. It felt as if the bull was making full use of the whole lot as he mauled me. A doctor later counted almost 40 puncture wounds and bite marks on my body. Templar survived the attack, but the severity of his injuries resulted in him losing his his left arm. One of the apprentice tour guys that assisted him in the expedition was killed in the attack. His body was found a few days later. Hippopotamuses are large, mostly herbivorous mammals found mainly in sub-Saharan Africa. They are the third largest type of land mammal after the elephant and rhinoceros. Notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar reportedly owned a zoo which, among other exotic animals, also housed hippos. Shortly after Escobar's death in 1993, the zoo was abandoned and all the animals were relocated, except for the hippos. They remained there and continued to multiply. A few years later, hippo sightings were reported in different areas around Colombia. To this day, they continue to thrive and take over more territories. This is a problem for Colombian authorities, as the people are unaware of how dangerous hippos are and might attempt interacting with them. Pablo Escobar may one day be considered responsible for the spread of hippopotamuses from Africa to South America. Number 4. Marius Els The case of South African farmer Marius Els is evidence of how dangerous it can be to interact with the hippo. Els had raised Humphrey, his pet hippo, since it was only about five months old. Photos and a YouTube video show Els riding the beast through the river. He said, we go in the water and he allows me to get on his back and ride him like a horse. Hippos are most territorial and dangerous when they're in the water, but that didn't stop Els, who was completely comfortable around the animal, despite its formidable size and aggressive reputation. I trust him with my heart that he will not harm anybody, he said. Els kept more than 20 species of exotic animals on his farm, including rhinos and giraffes, but Humphrey was by far his favorite. He said that Humphrey was like a son to him and that he was just like a human. Even though a hippo can easily snap a human being in two, Els gave his pet complete trust. He had been warned by many specialists that hippos are wild animals that cannot be tamed. His affection caused him to ignore their advice and ultimately led to his death. One Saturday evening, an ambulance was called to the farm. The mauled body of 41-year-old Marius Els was found submerged in the river that ran through his 400-acre property. Humphrey had attacked him through a series of vicious bites. Moments later, the 1.2-ton bull dragged Els in the river and held him underwater until he drowned. Wildlife experts believe that the attack happened because Humphrey had reached the age when male hippos challenge each other over territorial dominance and that he had perceived Els as a threat. 
Hippos are capable of killing humans on both land and in water. Despite their heavy weight, ranging from 3,000 to 6,000 pounds, and short legs, they can easily outrun a human, clocking in at 19 miles per hour. Their powerful jaws can kill crocodiles with ease, let alone a human being. Deaths occur when they feel their offspring or territory is being threatened, in which case they charge at you and bite. A hippopotamus bite force has been measured out to 8,100 newtons, or the equivalent of dropping a 10-pound bowling ball on yourself from 4 feet high. Each of their teeth can reach up to 1.6 feet long. Another thing to keep in mind is that their teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together, another deadly property of their vicious bite. Number 3. Nigerian Schoolchildren one of the most tragic hippo attacks in recent history happened in Naimi, the capital city of Niger. In this West African state, students often have to cross Niger River by boat in order to reach their schools. At least 18 people were aboard such a boat when a large hippo overturned it. Twelve students, seven girls and five boys lost their lives in the attack. The children were aged 13 and 12. Soon after the attack, Hasomi Jabido, governor of the Tilebidi region, gave the following statement. We have already given the order for the animal to be identified and killed. A year before the incident, another hippo had been shot dead after it took the life of a Naimi teenager. Hippos are extremely protective of their young. Experts reported that hippos with young in tow attack all matter of wildlife near the banks of the Niger River, including grazing cattle. If you're in a boat drifting in hippo-infested waters, allow the creatures plenty of space. Tap the side of the boat to signal your position so hippos don't come up beneath you. If you find yourself being charged by a hippo on land, don't get between a hippo or the water, as they feel that they can reach it at all times. It's impossible to win in a fight against the beast, so start running as fast as you can. It's important to note that hippos can run fast, but for short distances only, so your best hope in order to escape is to outlast them with your endurance. Try to run among rocks and trees as these are obstacles that can slow them down. Also try changing directions when you run, as this can buy you some extra time. Lastly, make your way to the safety of a building or your safari car if possible. Number 2. The Villagers of Galumbu Fishing on the Gambia River is how many people from the village of Garumbu, Senegal, ensure their survival. Every time they go on the river, however, they risk their lives. In the past decade, hippos have mauled to death 25 of the village's fishermen and injured many more. In an interview for Agence France Presse, 25-year-old Ali Fall said that he had been attacked twice since 2014. He reportedly gave the interview from a hospital bed after a hippo had bitten him in both his left and right leg. All described the beast by saying that they are evil monsters that attack us at night and day. He also stated, I have cheated death twice. For many, the river is their only source of income. Traditionally, villagers fish from a pirogue, a small wooden vessel that offers very limited protection against the massive hippo. Officials in Senegal have been struggling with finding a solution to the village's plight. Hippos are a protected species in Senegal, thus killing them is not an option. The fishermen of Gulumbu are not the only ones who live in fear of the beasts. The village does not have wells or taps, and many women must go near the river in order to do laundry. Aminata Sai told AFP, I'm scared they'll attack. That's why I always stay facing the river. The Senegal government has taken measures towards fixing the situation. Plans have been made of installing a fish farming enclosure in Gulumbu and equipping fishermen with 20 motored metal pirogues. Despite the promised changes, Ali Fall expressed an intention of changing his profession after his recovery. Number 1. Judith Mukiri and Mary Muthoni Judith Mukiri and Mary Muthoni, residents of a village in Kenya, were fetching water from the river when they encountered a large hippo. Mukiri, who was pregnant at the time, was the first to be attacked. The beast charged at her and knocked her down. Before turning to Muthoni, the hippo trampled Mukiri several times. Muthoni was quick on her feet and managed to avoid the animal. She then called for the help of other villagers. She said, When I ran, the animal went back to the woman who was still lying there helpless, bit, and dragged her into the water. Officers from the Kenya Wildlife Services were alerted after the villagers, armed with arrows and pongas, a type of machete, failed to stop the hippo. A decision was made to shoot the animal after a three-hour struggle of driving it out of the water. It took the officers another hour to bring the beast on land. After dragging the hippo's body out of the water, the locals immediately proceeded to share its meat. Though we are grieved because of the death, every family in the village will eat meat today, a villager said. Mukiri's body was found 500 meters downstream from the site of the attack. Find out more about fatal entities that will kill you by subscribing or clicking on one of the links below.